the physical element to the mental element, third day of installation, you know, you weren't quite as crisp. Effort was good, energy was good, competition was good, but you know, had some drops, had some snaps, had a couple, just just little little uh, things that, you know, were, weren't quite as crisp on the blitz pickup, you know. It's one thing blitz pickup when you when you're in shorts, it's another thing when, when it's it's live in pads and so uh, uh, but, but hopefully, you know, we'll, we'll get a little better tomorrow. We'll, we'll mix in some live work tomorrow for the first time. Today was full speed, but we were a thud tempo all day. Uh, meaning we kind of we'll try to stay on our feet. Tomorrow we'll, we'll mix in some to the ground live work. But uh, it was good. It was a good, you know, good start. We got a long way to go, but um, quick turnaround tonight because we, we're back over here in the morning at eight o'clock and we've got a big day tomorrow. Uh, so. We'll, uh, we'll keep working. When you guys are out there practicing, any difference at all? Based on, you had Chad Morris out there for four years. He's not there. And I know that those guys are in that staff room as well. But any difference at all with the way things are called, maybe things they do differently, just how everything's structured? Yeah, I think the biggest difference is, is uh, you know, just the voice is different. You know, I mean, and I, and I like, you know, when we're, when we're working our team teach type of stuff, those team separate periods, you know, uh, it's really nice with Tony and and, and uh, Jeff, and even when we go when we're separate defensively, you know, Marion's kind of got one side and Brent's got another, and working two groups, and uh, you know, so we're just just different voice. Uh, but but anytime you have a, a, everybody's got different personalities and things like that. But as far as just the structure of how we practice and and um, uh, our installation, not 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 any different. How did those freshman offensive linemen react to the physicality and putting on the pads? They did okay. They held their own. Uh, we had a little, we had a little what we call wind drill today, and uh, it was uh, it was good. You know, the, the, it's it's a great drill because it's kind of football in its purest form. It's just one on one, and you know, it's hand placement, it's footwork, it's it's low pads, leverage, um, drive, all that. And, and it's the things that we take from our drill, our individual drills, and now you put it all together, and it's first level, second level, third level, uh, with a back running the ball, you know, uh, sustaining blocks, getting off blocks, uh, backs cutting off the, off the block. So we, 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 we do that, uh, you know, probably, probably four times throughout spring. It's a good drill. Uh, so first time today, not bad. Uh, the biggest thing is we got so many young guys. It took us a little longer to get it organized uh, because some of those guys hadn't hadn't done it. But uh, but it was good. You know, you saw guys get better. Fru Morgan, for example, first time in there, got his butt jacked up. You know, because he didn't he wasn't he didn't, he didn't use his hands properly. Didn't get his hands inside. Uh, next time up, he was a lot better. Uh, next time up, he was better. So that's what you want to see. You want to see guys improve. And the biggest thing, just respond to the competition and. Um, it was good today. It doesn't take you long to know that, man, we hit on this guy, we hit on this guy. Is there somebody out there that you say, yeah, he's what we thought he was, but gosh, this guy might be better than what we thought uh, he would have been. I think we hit on all these guys. These guys that came I in, mean, really, I mean, it's, you know, we've just had three days, but somebody uh, better this than group, maybe? this group that's in here, these, these 15 guys, I mean, we hit on all of them, but, you know, as far as the guys that are going to play and all that kind of stuff and when they play, that always happens differently. You know, Josh Watson's a perfect example. He came in here mid-year and we liked him as a player. And also come fall, he just wasn't ready. Red shirted him and, you know, now he's fixing to go to the NFL. And uh, he was just a work in progress. Something you have other guys that are, bam, you know, uh, get it quick. Deshaun Watson, for example, uh, you know, shows up mid-year. But all of those guys, those four linemen, we hit on them. Uh, we got a ways to go before I can really evaluate uh, who's ready, who's not ready. And, and it's a long time between now and September, too. But just, just where we hope they would be right now, they're all, you know, it's, it's pleasing to see them all, all of them. You know, Chanel has got great ball skills. He's really raw. Uh, we got a lot of coaching to do with him. Uh, kind of like Travion when he came in here, but boy, he's got excellent ball skills, and he wants to. You know, I mean, he, he cares. Uh, you know, and, uh, Chalmers is another guy. Chalmers is a is a guy that's for a guy showing up. He's got really good technique. Van Smith, great football instincts and IQ, just kind of catches you. You know how he kind of picks things up quickly. That's a tough position that he's playing back there in safety. A lot of things that they have to do. 
uh, uh, Huggins. I mean, he just you know you can't help but notice him. I mean, how many freshmen look like him? Uh, and he's got a high motor to go with it. Mm-hmm. So I mean, there's just a lot to like about all of these guys. But um, you know, none of them are ready to play right sure. now. But but as far as just whether or not you know, I really feel like that, hey, these guys all have good futures. There's none of them that I'm worried about.